We're in some of the most spectacular country. It's gonna be interesting. They're just so majestic looking when they're standing on a ridge and just looking over top of everything. Not just if you're a hunter, but everybody makes an opportunity to get to a place like this. We'll be well rewarded by putting in a few hard miles and the views, the wildlife, and just the beauty of this place. She's like 20 yards, 10 yards. This adventure begins with a hike to an unknown river, to an unknown mountain block in search of goats. Backpack, weeks worth of food, inflatable kayak, and in pursuit of mountain goat. I can hear the river. I haven't seen it yet. It's been a bit of a, bit of a hike getting to it, so it's pretty exciting to hear it, where I can put the raft down and actually get in it. But we're in some of the most spectacular country. These mountains look unbelievably beautiful. I gotta be honest, the sound of the river is really nice. This is an indication of the river. It's going to be interesting. You know, throwing the boat in on a river that you've never been on and never actually seen before is always very interesting. It's going to make for an adventure to start off the adventure. So we're going to get right into it, I believe, because the looks of this river, it's not going to be a nice flat paddle, that's for sure. So we'll see how this goes. Just take it one mile at a time. That was a good one. A little bit moist, but no worse for wear.
we're starting to get into better country now. Up ahead, I can see those mountains starting to get steeper, a little more jagged. That high coniferous timber that goats like to hang out on the edge of. So yeah, we're, we're starting to cover some miles and won't be long and we'll be boots on the ground. It's pretty exciting to be in good goat country. The sun's just going down and we're wet. We all need to get dried out. And then tomorrow morning, we can get up and put our packs on and we can get out looking for a billy. I think this is definitely the best place that we should take out and start hiking from here because it looks like the timber is manageable. There is a lot of deadfall, a lot of old burn, and it's gonna be some bushwhacking, but these mountains, this is about as close as we're gonna to get to them. So it makes sense to start right from here and we'll kind of just take it as it comes. But it appears that there's a decent line up through the old burn to get to one of the ridges. We've seen nine goats from the valley floor. We believe that there's two billies up there, but we've got a week worth of food and we're not coming out of the hills till we have one. Anytime you can get fresh fruit on the mountain, maybe uh, take a few seconds and grab it. First fresh fruit for a while. We've gained about a thousand feet of elevation of some pretty tough bush bashing. We thought maybe we'd be able to see that billy up there that we were looking at from the bottom, but we can't. We need to do another thousand feet and we'll probably be about the same level as him. And then hopefully he's still there. The terrain here goes straight from moose country into goat country. And it's pretty steep and rocky stuff up there and behind us. So it's definitely the kind of terrain that they're in. When you climb out of the timber and break through on these mountain hunts, it's very rewarding to get that elevation gain and the terrain opens up in front of you and you can see forever. Bear. He's right here somewhere. He just huffed at us. Keep your eyes open, guys. Oh, it's a caribou. Look here. Man. That thing sounded just like a bear huff. Well, that's a false alarm. Hiking up into the Alpine and you hear that huff. In this case, it was a caribou snorting. You're not gonna sit and wait to make sure that it's not a bear before you pull your gun out. Because then it's too late. Well, we'll try to keep that adrenaline rolling and uh, make our way up, up this ridge. See if we can't get some glassing in before we lose the daylight and have to start looking for a place to camp. This is amazing what's playing out right now. We've got a sow, grizzly bear, and two cubs 
and she is chasing six goats into the rocks. She's about 100 yards, not even. She's closing the gap here. Maybe they can't quite see her. This is amazing. Like she has no chance of catching these guys. I don't see. That makes this trip worthwhile right there. She's like 20 yards, 10 yards. Guys, this is something we will never see again in our lives. That is one of the neatest things I've ever seen.